Hi, it's Chef Janie Pendleton, and today I'm going to teach you how to make my quick and easy peach pie using my home canned peaches that I teach you how to make on my YouTube and Facebook channels. Isn't that just beautiful? Now I made these on 7-23-13, so about a month ago I made these out of fresh peaches off the peach trees outside. And then um, here is my um, pressure sealed, my vacuum sealed clear gel. Okay, and I just did this on 0713 as well, and I've already got about half the thing of it gone. I mean, when it's canning season for me, I can go through a whole thing of clear gel. And this is just was uh, hermetically sealed, vacuum sealed. Okay. Now here we just got some gluten-free flour because I used, uh, made mine a gluten-free, but you can make your crust however you like it, or you could just use some store-bought uh, pie crust. I made a recipe for a double crust, and here we just put in a little bit of butter sprayed Crisco right here in our pie dish. This is a Longaburger pie dish. I just like the way it flakes up my crust. And this is a, a pretty thin pie crust. It's not as thick as, um, as I sometimes will make them. But I just, because whenever I do a double um, dough pie crust, and since I'm going to be folding uh, the top crust under this one, it makes it pretty thick around the edges, so I like to have a little, um, well, I like to have a little bit thinner crust because of the edges, okay? And it gets a nice flaky crust, too. All right, now be sure and fold your pie crust and fold your really cold butter in. And you can also fold a little bit of uh, cream cheese in there, too, if you like. That makes it really yummy, too, okay? So we've just cut this out, and we're going to decide what shape that we want to make this. Now, we can make this a lattice. Uh, a lattice top pie or we can put in some sort of a fall leaf design maybe and build up a leaf design so we'll be right back when I decide what kind of design we're gonna put on our pie now I've got the oven preheated to 350 degrees and we'll be right back okay now we're just gonna open up our can of peaches mmm see how that smells Oh, I wish we had smell-o-vision for here. These look and smell. Oh, so yummy. Oh, yum. Okay. And that's got that light syrup in there that I made. Let's go for this one. All right, there we go. Let's show you down inside of here a little better. Isn't that beautiful? Look at these peaches. Home canned peaches. I'm telling you, you can't beat the flavor. Okay, we're just going to turn the heat on medium-high. And in the same jar of our peaches here, okay, we're going to go ahead and just add... We're going to add a tablespoon, just a tablespoon, of the clear gel. And we're going to put that down inside. And you know what? I'm going to go for a tablespoon and a half. I like mine nice and thick. Make sure I don't get those canning lids confused. And again, we just put that down here inside of our jar. And we're going to add a little bit of water to this. Okay, I've added about a quarter cup of water. I'm just going to give that a really good stir. And we don't want any lumps. And we're just going to add this. There we go. And that's just clear gel. So it was a, a tablespoon and a half of clear gel and about a quarter of a cup of water. And we're going to try to thicken this up here. The nice thing about clear gel is it will thicken up clear. Now we need to think about what kind of spices we want to put into this. And I really, really like ground cloves. So we'll just put in a little bit of ground cloves in that, not much. I also like ground cinnamon, a couple shakes of that. Don't want to overpower those peaches by any means. And then we have some ground nutmeg, just a couple of shakes. I'm going to give that a stir. Remember, we don't want to overpower the flavor of the peaches. We just want to spice it up just a little bit, just a hint. You don't even have to add the spices at all if you don't like. Okay, now we're going to add our sugar. And I'm going to add a quarter cup of sugar to this. I'm 
and we're going to see how that tastes. We're going to thicken this up and see how it tastes. And I think this is going to need another um, thing of peaches. So we're going to add some more peaches to this. I'm going to go ahead and add another pint of peaches to this. So this ends up being a full quart of peaches. These right here are fine. Okay, and because we added more of that, we're going to add another quarter cup of water and another tablespoon of clear gel. We added another pint. And we're just going to pour in part of that. We're not going to pour it all in. We're going to reserve that and see how thick we can get this. Okay, this is starting to thicken up real nicely. We're going to get our taste spoon. We've got a clean spoon here. We're going to give this a taste. Mmm, that's good, but it needs more sugar. I'm going to put in another quarter cup of sugar. So that's a total of a half a cup of sugar. Because when I made my peaches, I didn't make, put them in a very heavy syrup. I like my fruit in a light syrup. I like to adjust my sugar when I decide what to dessert or how I'm making them, even if I cook them up straight. This is going to make a nice size pie. Oh, here we go. It's starting to thicken up now. Did the rain blow over? We're having a drought here, so we're also adding a room addition onto our house, so our roof has been off, so we're, <laughs> it's hard. The drought's been a good thing. Okay, I'm just going to kind of lift this off the heat just a little bit and back down. We want a slow bubble. We don't want this to burn on the bottom or have any kind of a burnt flavor to it. Okay, now you see how nice and thick that is? So we're just going to boil this for two minutes and we'll be right back. Okay, we just got a star-shaped cookie cutter here. And we're just going to tap this here into some flour. And we're going to take and we're going to pour in our hot, oh look at that, hot peach pie filling. Look at that, isn't that perfect? That was just the right amount. So a quart of peach pie filling filled this up. So next time I can peaches, I'm going to make a note of that in my um, in my own personal cookbook that I wrote and I'm going to know um, what size of jar to use next time I can up. The pint and a half just wasn't enough. I thought it would be but okay. Give that a little bit of a tap to get those pieces to settle and compact just a little. We're just going to take and cut out our stars. Well, there we go. Maybe a little more flour on that. Brush those off like that. And now we're just going to take and we're just going to decorate the pie with these stars. And I think I'm going to start on the outside edge. Just like that. And then I'm going to take my finger with a little bit of water and I'm just going to kind of seal those together just like that. There we go. You can hear the faucet. I let it drip for just a minute. There we go. We're just going to kind of overlap them all the way around. Keep attaching them. Isn't that gorgeous? I don't like this one. It needs to be a little different there. There we go. Come back. And we're just going to keep doing this with the pie all the way around. Tapping it, getting it wet, wherever it's going to meet other pie crusts, like that right there. Perfect. Do the same thing right here, wherever it's going to meet. Isn't that gorgeous? I 
And we're making like a little steam vents all around the pie by doing this. Keep going around the pie here. I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to get rid of this one because I didn't like the way that looked. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to cut one more for the edge. And then we're going to cut some here for the center. And we're just going to keep layering here. If you have to, re-roll out your pie dough. That's fine. That's the one that we got. And you're going to work with this quickly so the dough doesn't turn to mush. This is where I probably should have rolled it out a little thicker. Oops. Give that a little bit of a turn. I need some of the flour. There we go. I'm just going to keep layering these on just like that. And we're just going to keep layering these on just like that. Start in the middle. Just sit that on there just like that. Try to touch the points onto everything. Isn't that gorgeous? Now I'm going to brush the top of this with a little bit of whipping cream or an egg white uh, a wash. That's fine, either one. I like whipping cream. Sprinkle this with a little bit of sugar and we're going to put this in a 350 to 370 degree oven. Depends on how, you, how hot your oven runs. Mine runs pretty hot for my, per, my commercial oven. So I'm going to put this in at 350 for about 35 to 40 minutes. And I'm going to kind of protect the edge here with a little bit of with one of those little, um, you can either use aluminum foil or one of those pie edge um, things. Here, I'll show you what, let's see if that's even going to fit. That's not even going to fit. I'm going to have to use foil. Okay, but if you have one of these that fits, or test your pie plate, I guess, first. But anyway, there we go. And we'll be right back. Here, I'm just going to use some heavy whipping cream. I'm just going to take our pastry brush. I'm just going to kind of lightly hit these, especially along the edges here, really well. I'm going to lightly hit them along that edge. This is going to help give us a nice, flaky, shiny crust. I really love what the um, what the heavy whipping cream does to this crust. It's going to be absolutely gorgeous. It's kind of hard to do this when it's already soaking up the, um, the peach pie filling. So we're trying to be as fast as we can with this. Okay, most of that will evaporate off. I'm going to take just a little bit of coarse sugar and sprinkle that right on the top and get the edges that will help people eat the crust I like doing this because it doesn't make for a really thick pie crust on the edge and I know so a lot more people are more likely to to eat it okay now we're just gonna pop this in to a 350 degree oven for about 30 to 35 now minutes. that is what I would call a perfect peach pie this is chef Janie Pendleton and I hope you've liked coming along for the ride with me, and I hope you join me for my other videos. Be sure and subscribe. Blessings and enjoy. Ooh, I can't wait to have a bite of this pie.